Hello tarot friends, this is Ultraviolet Morgan, and I'm going to try to do this uh, walkthrough again of the Everyday Witch Tarot set um, by Deborah Blake and art by Elizabeth Elba. And it comes in this magnetic case with this gorgeous book. And... The book has full pictures and then descriptions and then room for notes, which is nice. And um, not our favorite way to store cards, but we'll be forgiving <laughs> for now. Oops, the magnetic stuck. All right, so the back. Of the card is this cute little Halloweeny kind of background. Um, the cards, ooh, the cardstock is nice. It's not very, it's not flimsy. It's it's got a good bend to it. And then we'll try to get through the picture or the card images fairly quickly because I don't think I have a whole lot of time to film. Here's the fool. Honey, just a minute. The magician, which is a man. There's not very many men, but there are a few. <clears throat> the high priestess, and she's reading her cards and using her. The cat is spilling out her rune stones, it looks like. Okay, and then we have the empress. Who's usually sitting, but this time she's standing with the red and the white. I like that. It reminds me of um, the maple and the tree in bloom behind her. The emperor, again, is a male. Um, I don't really care for this too much because most of the cards are more modern. This one feels just out of place to me. Here we have the Hierophant, who is a yoga teacher, so that's kind of perfect, teaching proper forms and those sort of things, um, and, and, you know, step by step in order to um, prepare yourself spiritually. The Lover's Card, um, this is nice and ambiguous, with the back's turned, could be... This looks like a woman, and this could be a man or a woman, although I've yet to see any of the men wearing the pointy witch's hats. The chariot, that's very cute. This way or that way. So this way or that way, and they're black and white, sort of represents the um, sphinxes or the horses going in opposite directions, the white and the black horse. This time they're signs. So here we have the strength card. This is very nice. I like this. Um, sort of tornado in the back. Makes me think of um, Wizard of Oz. The hermit. This is very nice. I like the... She's in this thoughtful pose. She's meditating. She's going within. The Wheel of Fortune. She's a little saucy. I like that. I think the Wheel of Fortune is a little bit saucy sometimes. The Justice card. She's blindfolded, but it looks like her eyes peeking out. So that's kind of interesting. The Hanged Man. Death. Now that's kind of spooky and interesting, isn't it? And there's two doors. The one is... Closed and one seems to be opened. And a little black cat. Temperance. That's a good pose for temperance. I don't know why exactly. We have one eye closed and one eye open. Maybe balance or the union of opposites. I don't know. The devil. Huh. 
That is a very interesting devil card. I like it. We've got an offering of money, offering of ice cream. Very nice. The tower. Hmm, she looks like maybe she might have had something to do with this tower. The star. That is just beautiful. The moon. Oh! That's gorgeous. I love that cat. I love how this reflection is bigger, too. Things are not always what they seem in the moonlight. The sun. This is really lovely. Judgment. But it gives me sort of a Pied Piper, like, you know, time to pay the Piper. I guess that's probably the, the point of that. And the world. I love that. Okay, now we have the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. I'm a very, very big fan of black cats. They're the just about the only kind I really like. Um, two of Swords. Oh, boy. That's just pointed, isn't it? And we have the Three of Swords. Oh, yeah. I like that they... They use the traditional imagery, and yet they worked it into something um, a little more than what we normally get. So that was that's cool. Four of Swords resting. Five of Swords. Interesting. I feel like there's definitely a story there to explore, to go into a little bit. Six of Swords. In general, really, I think these these really do seem to have a story. So, I always had a hard time with exercises. Seven of Swords. Smuggling all the swords out. That would say, you know, imagine what happened before and after the cards. And the right away Smith cards look so static. I just, I could hardly ever do it. Eight of Swords. And she's trapped. And I feel like, um, I don't feel like that with these. They don't have that feeling. So I feel like I could say what happened. But how do we get here? And what's going to happen next? Nine of Swords. Hmm. And the Ten of Swords. Oh, boy. She's done for. But she's not really giving up. She's reaching for her, for her broom. Page of Swords. Very brave. Brave. Um, the Knight of Swords. Also brave. And of course, on his mount. Which is his um, broom. Queen of Swords. Lovely. And the King of Swords. Hmm. Of course, he's got his books. Lots of books in the swords suit that I have seen. Ace of Cups. Her cup runneth over. Uh, the Two of Cups. That's nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Three of Cups. That's beautiful. I like that, too. The little fishies jumping up out of the water. Huh. Nice. Well, it's probably going to end in a minute, and I'll have to do a part two. 